the next an exercise the scatter graph shows the length and width of 20 birds x one of the x has been length of 52 mm what is its width then one of the eggs has a width of 72 mm what is its length describe the relationship between uh, relationship shown by the scatter diagram okay here we have one we have the scatter diagram is in front of your eyes okay this is the width my guess. this vertical axis denotes the width in millimeters and the vertical axis denotes the length in millimeters the length of the eggs of birds or the length of birds eggs and this one denotes the width of birds eggs <coughs> so one of the eggs has been <coughs> a length of 52 the length of 52 this is the length okay this is 50 and this is 52 because from 6 to 50 the difference between 60 and 50 will make like that 60 minus 50 is 10 i will divide this by 5 and this by 5 so this one represents 2 minutes so each square represents 2 minutes this is 52 this is 54 this is 56 this is 58 and this is 60 so in 52 this point i mean this point 52 is that so just draw one a vertical line which is parallel to the width axis okay like that you could even if you would like to make a dashed line okay no problem okay like that then at this point draw a horizontal line that is parallel to the the left axis okay so what is the answer my kids the width should be 40 millimeters okay 40 millimeters okay one of the eggs has a width of 72 the width of what 72 what is this is 70 this is 70 this is 74 this is 76 and this is 78 and this is 80 so 72 what is 72 you can only start the okay okay 72 okay one of the eggs has the width of 72 okay 72 is that so it will be what this is 72 so where exactly 72 it will be the width 112 114 okay 114 millimeter okay so length should be here the length is equal to what to 144 millimeter describe the relationship by the scatter diagram now we will tell if it is positive or negative correlation or there is no correlation okay so you can see that when x and when the length increase the width increase also when uh, and what about the stop you can if you will let's say draw a best line feet okay sorry should be like that this is the best line feet okay you can see that the gradient or the slope of this line is positive so the gradient is positive is positive means that means that there is a there is a positive positive correlation correlation why my kids simply because when the width the length is increasing also the width is increasing okay 
Our case scribe, we can say that positive, positive correlation. Positive correlation. Okay. Positive. Positive what? Correlation. Means when the length is increases, is increasing, uh, the width also is increasing. Okay? This is means the positive correlation. Thank you for listening, my kids. I wish that I got the point. How can you distinguish between positive and negative? And there is no correlation between two quantities or between two variables okay in general if the slope is negative is negative so it's a negative correlation and if the slope or the gradient slope means gradient if the slope or the gradient is positive so it's a positive correlation okay positive correlation means what if we have two variables okay or a set of data consists of uh, we'll try to find two variables x and y such that x increase y increase. This is positive correlation. Negative correlation means that x increase y decrease. Okay, and vice versa. Thank you for that.